Why doesn't sad music make you feel sad? Pack for deletion from the job. Why are superbugs becoming super immune and printing rocket parts on the daily orbit? Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. This music is so sad and yet I feel surprisingly pleasant. Why do we subject ourselves to such melancholy melodies? New research found that certain aspects of depressing music can evoke positive feelings in the listener. Researchers surmised from their study that sad music brings out conflicting emotions in listeners, sadness and romance. Despite its sense of melancholy, be it music literature or a painting, sad art creates the pleasant feelings associated with romance. And due to the fact that it's artistic, this sadness doesn't pose a real threat to our psychological state. It can even be used to help us cope with negative feelings on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, I'm a sucker for romance. And that picture of you on Facebook making out with some random person in Vegas on top of a table in a club might be romantic to you, but probably not to a potential employer. New research from Northwestern University says that social networking sites can be helpful to employers and detrimental to employees. Knowing how to manage your privacy settings can make all the difference. The study found women were better than men at managing their social media profile, and that in general, people with higher internet skills are more likely to better manage their online reputation. Do yourself a favor and just untag yourself. They warn social networking sites change their privacy settings often, so be aware. And yes, I know this as Facebook released my number and I got a lot of random phone calls from all over the world. And social networking isn't the only thing we overuse and abuse. A recent report says that our misuse and overuse of antibiotics could lead us into a 19th century-esque disease and infection nightmare. Bacteria are becoming immune to the drugs often used to treat ear infections, sore throats, and more. And scientists warn these immune superbugs are becoming a global threat with some of them already becoming virtually untreatable. Also, pharmaceutical companies have abandoned their research in the field due to the growing resistance to the medication. Only one novel helpful antibiotic has been discovered in the last 50 years. On a good note, a report last month suggested that adding a low dose of silver could weaken these immune bugs and allow today's antibiotics to effectively kill these bugs. Go get them. And I consider myself blessed when it comes to these bugs. Mosquitoes don't like me and I'm fine with that. But do you get eaten alive by the pesky pest? And why you and not me? A new report in Smithsonian Magazine says that mosquitoes prefer to dine on type O blood. But we'll take type B if they have to. And A is out for their taste. For 85% of people, a chemical secretion gives away your blood type. Not in shape. Makes you more of a delicacy for the critters who love heavy breathers as they are attracted to the carbon dioxide. And dress bright to avoid the bite. Mosquitoes notice those in black, navy blue, and dark red. Finally, put down that cocktail. For some reason, they like people who drink more. <gasps> oh, I guess I should have knocked on wood. And print this. NASA has successfully tested their first ever 3D printed rocket component. Their partner company, Aerojet Rocketdyne, printed a fuel injector, which is the main part of a rocket engine, using high-powered lasers to melt and fuse metallic powders into desired shapes. In just four months, they were able to make what would usually take a year to produce, driving down production costs by 70%. They hope one day to print an entire spacecraft. I can think of a few things I would like to print. And that's all for the Daily Orbit. See you tomorrow, Orbiters. <laughs>